Today we're checking out Coin Ops Players Legends, the latest and greatest Coin Ops build, especially those for newbies and bare bones. It's rocking just right under eight gigabytes, very, very small. After you extract it, you just want to right click it, use seven zip or WinRAR and uh, get it out. And, you know, turn out the little folder here, 8.5 gigabytes, another half a gigabyte or about a, just shy under a gigabyte once it's all done. This might all look familiar to you. You have many ways of opening this these files for you i'm just going to zoom in here you know any of the ghosts and things you have your helper here as far as like what happens in the launcher uh interesting enough that you'll see when i load it um it's very user friendly you can read the readme over here um you know always check out their discord they're very good you know the latest and greatest in bezel work and in imagery this is a mame only build with only 173 arcade games um, no console games or other emulators. And that's why it's so small. You can run from any uh, storage device, like an external hard drive or anything like that. And for best results at a 1080p screen. Um, it has very little uh, uh, requirements as far as we'll run on pretty much any computer uh, with the like, Windows XP or newer. Um, and then it talks about the different uh, menus here, like Legends will be uh, Pac-Man icon, all the arcade games, all 173, plus favorites or you can run legends all plus last played last played they even tell you over here it'll be the last 10 games you've played um and then favorites is pre-populated with 75 games again you can add as much as you want to it there's even a, a street fight a capcom fighters which comes with all this plus the seven street fighter games here or you could just do legend street fighters and only get the street fighter games so again, kind of summary that this build is very much for um, set it and forget it, giving it to like a kid or giving it to somebody who, you know, doesn't want to do any of the back end stuff. They just want a game um, for the most part, but also you could build this out as well. You can absolutely build this out, add more games, things like that. So speaking of that, there's all sorts of config files and things like advanced configs here. They want you to run everything as a bat file. So it's really easy to do. And, uh, you can even have a second uh, marquee. There's even different themes you can run here. Just run the theme, it'll it'll change the theme. Let's see what it looks like by default. So I'm gonna do all plus uh, favorite. Okay, so here we are. And uh, going up and down in your controller just switches between favorites and all games. Uh, and then there's just literally all the games. You can go through letters with your bumper buttons. Um, you can add and remove favorites, you can join a game. So not really much going on. So you can either have it at the um, the top, the bottom, the center. You can do right vertical, right? This is more like um, the right vertical is probably the closest thing to like, uh, the right vertical is probably the closest thing to like a hyperspin type build. Top horizontal fast, top horizontal linear, inverted fast. Wow, crazy, a bunch of, a bunch of different ones. So let's try um, horizontal linear to start at the bottom. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty standard. Uh, I wish they added the marquee one that would have been cool. So let's go column. Let's go wheel. Yeah, see, like I said, this is probably the closest to, you know, a track mode or a hypersyn, if you will. And uh, let's do with spinner theme, spinner, uh, linear. All right. And let's check out that Street Fighter build as well. Okay. Yeah, this looks good to me. I mean, it's very, 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 very basic. Not not like some of these other builds you've been seeing. Uh, the Sunset build had some interesting, the last one I reviewed had some really interesting uh, themes. Um, let's go ahead and check out, let's do one more theme and we'll check out the Street Fighter version. So we tried the spinner, uh, we, the top we've done already, and then the center, let's go center curved. Let's try that one out. And let's do the Capcom Fighters, which also includes Street Fighters as well. So it's like 20 games or so, 21 games. Okay, pretty cool. 
I don't like this one just because it kind of blocks out the video snap. So I'd rather go top or bottom myself. But hey, that's just my preference. Um, let's go ahead and so we tie top spinner inverted. Let's just try top spinner. Oh, inverted is like if it's on the... Well, you actually didn't try the inverted one is what we didn't try last time. Hmm. I'm not sure which one I like better. <laughs> it's such a small, you know, difference between how the, how it spins. Is it spinning, you know, clockwise or counterclockwise? Okay, so we have spinner, spinner inverted. We have the uh, right vertical. The top is where it started. The center, I don't like it because it blocks the screen myself, but some people might like it. The bottom spinner, I mean, that's fine. I you know whether it's on the bottom or the top. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I just like the, the, I like it on the side myself just because it's gonna, let's try fast though. Or let's, oh, I like column actually versus wheel column. It reminds, cause it's, it's a little more retro. I feel like retro games, like more squi square versus curves, right? Like, like old cars, right? We're very blocky like this. So I kind of like this for retro games where like the curving is like newer cars, right? It's like a Tesla, right? Lots of curves. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and see what games are on here. Uh, 170, mostly arcade old school. We got CPS one, two, and three games on here. You're going to have like your centipede, your commando. You got dark stalkers on here. The uh, main version, uh, some really good shooters. You got the original Donkey Kong double dragon. Remember to do your double backflip on that game. All right. A lot, a lot of fun shooters here. Whoa. Whoa. I went to, uh, I moved over to favorites there. So, sorry if you're <laughs> zooming through the video. We just, we're going to go backwards now. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. If Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 is on here, I'm okay leaving it in U. But I do think it's cooler when people put it with an M. With like, because especially when there's other Mortal Kombat's on here. Wow, a lot of a lot of the classics on here. You got R Type, Raiden, Punisher. Great, 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 great game. Boom. You got Outrun, NBA Jam. He's on fire. See, like MK2, right? You you don't realize that Ultimate Mortal Kombat's on here as well. You got your Moon Patrol, Metal Slug, Metal Slug Three. So you got some uh, Neo Geo on here as well. Good to see. You got your Joust, Indiana Jones. Um, so interesting that the Hyper Street Fighter is under H, and then the Super Street Fighter is probably under S back there. All right, we've already done this. So let me load a game here. And uh, this is PC emulation. No, it's not for the Raspberry Pi. So, Beautiful Bezels, you know, another cool build. Uh, a lot of people had been asking me if there's, like, more of a bare bones build. There are literally builds with just the coin ops and no ROMs. You just got to look around. Uh, speaking of that, you know, check out their Discord channel. Uh, they'll hook you up with, like, everything you need to know. They're, they're good people. Um, but uh, this one does have the 100 or so games on it. And you can... Uh, I think you can hold, yeah, I was going to say, I think you can hold down, you can hold down fire in this game and get, like, extra strong, but it doesn't move around as fast, or you can go for, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this wouldn't be my go-to build, I would totally rock the sunset build that I reviewed the other day over this, just because of the added themes and things, but, um, I'm still a fan in general. Look at those dodging skills. Oh, yeah. Did I get hit? Okay. Everything slowed down there for a second. Um, so, you know, a lot, lot to see here. You know, you can do, set up a second monitor. There's advanced configurations. You can still turn off the glass effects and stuff. The glass effects look like they're on right now. So you have some in-game, really easy files to play around with. And, um, yeah. I mean, not much more here. 
I think, you know, a lot of people might pass on this one, especially if you have like a coin ops next build like totally squared away already. But if you want to try something new. Oh, oh. Are you guys seeing this? Oh, that definitely lost some health. Look at that, I didn't even use one of my bombs yet. I'm honestly not even sure who I'm supposed to be focusing on right now. Am I supposed to be focusing on the a bird? Get off me. Dope. So you just press escape uh, or you press start select on your controller and you're back out. And again, remember there's no, um, there's no uh, like, se there's no setup menu, right? You have to change everything from the files here. And uh, you could do like all plus favorites, all plus last played, favorites plus all. You could do favorites plus genres. So genres, this one will have like a lot more um, menu items. So let's see if you go left to right. Yeah, so shoot 'em ups, fight club, run and gun. You see in the lower left corner here, beat 'em ups. Some people might like this old school. So you still do get those genres if you want, okay? But again, no settings menu. And then uh, you have literally just the, uh, the legendary games 25 100 and just your favorites as well so for example 25 you can see here in the bottom right it's just 25 games right right and then there's a 50 game one a 75 100 and then the last one is favorites i hope you like this one don't forget to like subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one